Just making sure you know about the bonding in benzene, 2018, paper 2. If we look at this one question, and it asks you to explain the bonding in benzene. Well, what benzene has got is it's got six carbons in a flat planar ring. And the six carbons in the ring have carbon-to-carbon -carbon bonds, covalent bonds, equal in length and equal in strength. They aren't double bonds, they're not um, unsaturated, so benzene won't decolorize bromine water. What happens is that the three, um, each carbon has three covalent bonds, and then the fourth electron is a P electron. That travels uh, in an orbit um, above and below the ring in a figure of eight shape. It's a P electron, a pi electron as we call it, P being pi. And that P electron overlaps with a P electron on a neighbouring carbon. Those electrons are delocalised, which means they move. And that overlapping of those P electrons or pi electrons form a pi bond, and that is the ring. If we look at the stability of the ring, it's more stable than you'd expect. And if we have a look at some data there, if we um, add hydrogen by electrophilic addition across a carbon-to-carbon -carbon double bond in cyclohexene, every time a hydrogen is added across that double bond, it releases uh, 120 kilojoules per mole of energy. Now, if you do that three times over, in a benzene ring then you would expect it would release 360 kilojoules per mole of energy but it releases less it releases 152 kilojoules per mole of energy less than you'd expect that means that it's more stable less energy released